Hey, welcome friends. This is Mike Collins from Healthway Compounding Pharmacy. This is our prescriber spotlight today with Dr. Carrie Tabuzian. How are you doing, Dr. Tabuzian? I'm doing good. How are you? I was going to say good morning, good morning but okay. now I think it's, it's afternoon. It's really right afternoon. Now. Well, daylight savings time. We really never know what time it really I is. I know. It's, we, cr uh, it's crazy. It is kind of crazy. It gets hey, dark way too early. I know. Today, we wanted to talk a little bit about bioidentical hormones and hormone replacement therapy. And so, Dr. Tapuzian, tell me that's something that you're quite knowledgeable about. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, and I've been doing bioidentical hormones probably for about 15 years. And so bioidentical hormones, so what, what does that mean? That's basically what we're talking about is we're using the exact same match of what your body originally made. Exactly. Estrogen, testosterone, things like that. You know, and I sometimes I'll do this and I'll say, you know, sometimes they'll say natural hormones, but bioidentical is a better word. Right. Um, but, and maybe this is, I'm just going to show you, okay? We got two pens here, right? Right. And they both write, they both do the same thing, but they're a different color, but they're not the same. They're not bioidentical. Right. These are bioidentical. Okay, right. so when we're, what we're getting from a compounding pharmacy to use on patients, it's an exact match of what your body used to make. Right. Are we saying that too many times? I, nope. I think that okay. that's exactly right because it's in a it's a it's a concept that people sometimes and even physicians have a hard time understanding the difference between like a progesterone and a progestin. Yep. Progestin yep. is a word that kind of encompasses a lot of different progesterone-like molecules but they're not exactly what women's ovaries make. They make progesterone. They don't make medroxyprogesterone acetate or any other synthetic form right. of progesterone. And so it's always important that I explain to them that you know, natural is kind of one word, mm -hmm. but bioidentical is a word we want to use when we're talking about hormones because sure. it's exactly what their body makes. Now, right. is it made in the lab? Of course it's yes. got to be made in the lab. We're not going to have a bunch of women donating their ovaries right. so we can squeeze them out and get progesterone right. out of them. But your body doesn't say, oh, that came from a lab and this came from your body. It, right. it, it's an exact match. Right. That's a good point. Insulin is a bioidentical hormone. Melatonin, I'm sure a lot of you have tried taking it at night. That's a bioidentical hormone. There's a lot of things out there that are bioidentical. So when we're talking about females, what specifically are they the type of hormones that you would replace? Well, usually, you know, you're looking at estrogen, and yeah. there's two estrogens that you'll look at. One's called estradiol. The other one's called estriol. You look at progesterone uh, and testosterone. Those are the main ones you, you'll look at for women. There's a couple other ones, too, we'll test sometimes, DHEA, pregnenolone. Uh, those are more stress-related hormones, but they're also important. What about men? Men, the big one's testosterone. Right. You know, you look at testosterone, then you also look at, uh, there are other association, associated hormones okay. uh, that will cause a man to have lower testosterone levels if they're high. So you also check those two, and they can all be checked with, uh, with blood work. And men make estrogen. Men make estrogen, yeah. yeah. The older you get, and the more fat you have on your body, the more estrogen a guy will make. You talking about me? No, I'm not, not oh, yet. Okay. Not yet. Not talking about you yet. But it's true, you know, and then, you know, the, I'm going to say it, man boobs, okay, right. what is that? That's guys that are making too much estrogen, right. okay? And that's not good. You don't want to make too much estrogen because that means you have lower testosterone levels, and it also can affect your prostate gland, okay? So, you, there's ways of stopping your body naturally, we'll use the word naturally here, to stop you from converting and making estrogen from testosterone. And that's part of the plan when you're treating a guy. Right. And, and the other thing is, statistically, by the time you're 50 years old, you're make, uh, a man is making 50% of the amount of testosterone he was making when he was 21. By the time he's 70, he's down to 10%, okay? That's not good. Okay, so we're going to kind of close it off there because in future talks, I want to get more specific with Dr. Tapuzian about each individual hormone. We'll talk about women's hormones. We'll talk about men's hormones. So Good idea. folks, stay tuned for some of our future talks on hormone replacement therapy. So this was like a teaser. This was a teaser. Oh, cool. Yeah. I like it. Stay tuned. All right. Live healthy, my friends.